Hey there tubers. This video is going to be on the Cruise PTO. This switch right here and this associated switch right next to it. What this is is you can set the PTO RPMs that you want. Turn this switch on and it'll maintain those RPMs as best it can. And it's mainly for mowing, which is what I'm doing today. And when you get into heavy vegetation, it'll lug your mower down and your engine with it. So this is to help alleviate that. And when it senses more horsepower is required, the engine will speed up a bit to try and maintain your PTO RPMs. Once you get through heavy brush or whatever you're uh, working in and get back into normal, it'll drop the engine RPMs back down. Now I won't have a problem with that today because I'm just uh, mowing winter kill vegetation and it's nice and dry. I shouldn't have a problem with it, but uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to set this and uh, adjust up or down the RPMs you desire. So I'll turn this uh, PTO on, get that sudden surge that the electronic clutch does, and I'll get this up to, oh we'll go just shy of our PTO speed, so we'll go about 2400. We'll set the PTO cruise, light on the dash comes on, and we'll start going. And now with this switch, we can increase or decrease the RPMs by 50 each time we push it. Similar to a car cruise control. Alright, now that we've got the cruise PTO on, we hit the negative or set button and that sets our engine RPMs. 2400 and the light on the dash came on saying it's set. So now, if you mess with your throttle at all, it doesn't do anything because you've got the engine RPM set. So if you're not happy with the engine RPMs you've got, come over here and hit the plus for adding 50 RPMs or the negative for taking out 50 RPMs. So we'll hit this twice. She went up to 2,500. Come back, we'll hit it twice negative, and we're right back to 2,400. So with that, if you flip this off or hit your brake pedals, it will go back to whatever the throttle is set at currently. Now that I messed with it a little bit, it'll probably decrease. So we'll shut off. Yep. So my throttle setting wasn't where it was originally. So with shutting that off, it went back to the current setting. Before I forget here, there's one other thing, so uh, I'll turn this back on. We'll get it back up to 2400 RPMs. We'll set it. Then I'll pull the throttle back a bit. I'll use the brake pedals to 
shut it off. Now as long as you hit use the brake pedals, you can hit the resume button and it goes right back up to your preset throttle position. But that's only if you use the brake pedals. If you shut it off from here, you gotta start all over. So that's uh, pretty much it on the cruise PTO option. Questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.